Rated M for Mature. Look at me. Not too scary now, is he? We wanted something different and we wanted a, a different location. And at that moment, we were talking with the uh, lead game designer, uh, Hervé. For me, the project starts 10 years ago uh, when I was uh, to New York for my first uh, USA trip. I walk around and I go up to Manhattan and I just arrive in front of Central Park and it was very late so the park was uh, very dark and there, there was a so huge contrast between the darkness of the park uh, and the light in the street just around the park. It makes a, a kind of huge dark square in the middle of the city and it was like a parallel world. Uh, the, the, the world of the light and the world of the darkness inside the park and at that moment I had a kind of flash in my head and I say, oh it could be a very great playground to, to, to set up a game. We chose it because it was a real setting and the drama that you'll be living with the game will make it even more disturbing because it's not in an imaginary area but an area in which you know and you can relate to. Lots of games try to copy the narrative structure of a movie, but a movie is around two hours and a game is from 10 to 15 hours. At Eden, we were all addicted to the new serial like 24 Laws. And at that moment, we, we had a, a flash saying, we are so crazy about that, it's quite a new way of, uh, of telling stories. Previously, on Alone in the Dark, to build the whole story of what we call the first season, in fact. We work with um, five or six designers in the same room. We, we had a huge desk and we closed the door during six months and nobody was allowed to go out until we have a great plot for each episode. I'm Sarah Flores, I'm an art dealer. You're not a cop, are you? I don't actually remember anything prior to waking up this evening. We work with Lorenzo Carcatara because he grew up in, in the neighborhood of Central Park in Hell's Kitchen, so he knew the place very well. I guess I brought what they, what they wanted me to bring, and I hope I brought it, was uh, dialogue, uh, a street sense of New York that they wanted. They wanted a real uh, New York feel. I've grown up here and you know, I kind of know the city. Based on the other stuff I've done in the past, um, they wanted this feeling of authenticity in the dialogue and they knew I'd written for Law and & Order and uh, other tell I uh, ran a, a TV show for four years on CBS called Top Cop. So I kind of, I knew the rhythm and the beat of the city and, and uh, the dialogue. I think the book he had read, uh, the Atari executive read was Apaches, which is a real kind of tough, gritty, very dark uh, cop novel. And so I think that's what they were looking for. Christ, it's about time! What the hell's going on? We worked in two groups. The first group was very focused on the type of situation, uh, very, very linked to the gameplay, and how we want to provide gameplay experience to the player in the situation. And the other group was more focused on the character, the plot twist, the background. Every day, we, the two groups worked together and we tried to connect the dots between the, the two interesting things. And we wrote a very high level of the story um, with all the answer of all the, the, the teasing elements we put in the first episode. And after that, we connect with all the situations. So. I never thought I'd see your face again. Take it easy. You're hurt. You know him? No, I don't think so. Well, what we really want the people to feel when playing Alone in the Dark is that this will be the first game that they will be able to really finish. We've implemented the DVD skip menu, which allows you to practically skip into the game, either move forward or move backwards, and play the game as you want. If you save your game and you come back two days after and you want to play another episode of the game, you will have a previously. Previously, on Alone in the Dark. Meet me in room 943? Oh, fuck that 
Dad, I'm leaving.